If I give you this quadratic equation, you might be able to solve it by either using the famous quadratic formula like this, or by using the factorization method like this, or by completing the square method this way, right? But all of them require you to either depend upon your memory or using a guess and check method. But what if I told you there's another method that is faster, easier to understand, and doesn't depend so much on memorization or trial and error. This is the Poshen Lo method, an elegant way to solve quadratic equations that focuses on logic and symmetry, and I wonder why they never teach that in school. Okay, if you look at a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is greater than zero, it looks like this. Now, if we assume these two values are the roots of this quadratic equation, you might notice that this point, where the value of this curve is minimum, is always going to be symmetric with respect to the roots, and therefore its x value will be the average of the roots. Therefore, if we somehow know the average of the roots of this equation, then the value of roots will simply be this average minus some constant value or u and average plus u, where this distance is u. And getting the average of the roots is easy, right? We know the sum of the roots is always minus b over a. So the average will be minus b over 2a. Now let us use this example. Here, a equals 1, b equals minus 22, and c equals 117. The sum of the roots will therefore equals minus of minus 22 over 1 or 22, and thus the average of the roots will be 11. Now let one of the root of this equation be 11 minus u, and the other root be 11 plus u. Now, here comes the magic. We also know that the product of the roots equals c over a, right? So in this case, it will be 1, 1, 7. But it is also equal to 11 minus u, times 11 plus u. This is of the form a minus b times a plus b, which equals a square minus b square. So, this equals 11 square minus u square, or 121 minus u square, and this equals 117. Take u square right side, and this value on left to make it u square equals 121 minus 117, or 4. This gives u equals 2. Therefore, x equals 11 minus 2, or 9, and 11 plus 2, or 13, and that's it. These are the roots of this eucation. The beauty of this method is that it works for any quadratic equation, and we don't have to rely upon guessing or memorization. Let us look at one more example, this one. Sum of the roots equals 4, and thus the average will be 2. Now, the roots will be 2 plus u and 2 minus u, and the product of the roots equals minus 7. Therefore, 4 minus u square equals minus 7, or u square equals 4 plus 7 or 11, which gives u equals root 11. Hence, the roots of this equation are 2 minus root 11 and 2 plus root 11. See, that was super fast. Now, can you tell me the roots of this equation in the comments? Isn't this technique super cool? So, good!